In this presentation, we're going to add amounts paid for investments into our accounting system using bank feeds. In other words, we see something coming out of the checking account. It came out of the checking account and was used for a purchase of investment or putting money into an investment such as stocks and bonds. We're going to record that transaction. Get ready because we're dropping in with Wave. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars company dashboard. We're going to go on down to our reports once again, opening up our two favorite reports, those being the financial statement reports, those being the balance sheet and the income statement. We'll open up the balance sheet first here. When that opens up, we're going to duplicate the tab by going to the tab up top, right clicking on it and duplicating that tab. Then I'm going to go back to the one to the left, the tab on the left. We're going to go back down to the report so we can open the other report, that being the income statement or P&L profit and loss. Once open, we're going to do the same process, going to the tab up top, right clicking on it and duplicating that tab. Then we're going to go back to the balance sheet tab. We're going to be adjusting the dates. The date we're going to be working in will be 2019. That's the uh, data that we have uploaded to the system. So let's go ahead and update the balance sheet for that. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom. I like to show the details so then I can kind of drill down on the numbers using these functions to do so. The bank account is what it is at this point in time. Note what we're going to have is a decrease to the checking account because we spent money from the checking account. We're going to see it come out of the checking account with the bank feed. And all things that went out of the bank account are going to, the other side of them are going to go into that uncategorized expense. However, this is, we're going to record those items that are a little bit uh, different, the, the items that aren't just normally expenses, in this case being the investment, meaning we took money out of the checking account, but we put it into another investment, such as uh, stocks and bonds. Now, just note that unless you're in a company that's in the business of investing in stocks and bonds, then you don't typically want to do that for like your personal investments on the business side of things. Obviously, if you have your your in, your business books here and you want to put money into the personal investment, typically you would take the money out and then and then put it into your personal investments possibly. But however, we're going to say here that you know we have some extra cash and we don't want to take it out of the company. We're going to take it from the checking account and put it into an investment account. So that means it, we should see another asset over here which should be uh, an investment that we're going to have to set up. If I go to this side, to the income statement, and we take a look at this report, and I'm going to go back down here and show the detail. And did I, I didn't take it back to 2019. Let's bring this back to 2019. I'm not seeing any detail. I'm not seeing anything. And there should be stuff happening. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay, there we go. Now we have all the other things that we haven't categorized are going to be in this uncategorized item. So we're going to go ahead and categorize them, taking it out of the expenses entirely, not creating another expense such as utilities or cost of goods sold, but putting it on the balance sheet as an asset for investment. So let's take a look at that. We're going to go to the first tab. Let's go down to the accounting then. We're going to be looking at our transactions. Within the transactions, we want to find that one. There's one for E-Trade here. So E-Trade, that's going to be an investment type of company like a Vanguard or an E-Trade. So they, you can put money in a stocks and bonds there. So we're, we took money out of the checking account. We put it into E-Trade. So what we need is an account that's an assets type of account. And I don't think we're going to find one here for, uh, for, for what we're looking for. But let's check it out because that's our practice. We always want to kind of look into it make sure that uh, we don't duplicate any so here's the only assets we have so we need another asset so i'm going to go down here and we're going to add another account this is going to be an asset type of account so it's not going to be an expense it's an asset and expected payment we've got the property plant and equipment uh, other short-term assets so i'm going to put it into other short-term asset and then i'm just going to call it investment so we'll call it investment now you could get really detailed about the types of investments by you know what the organization is the institution like e-trade or a vanguard or, or your bank or something like that or you might want to try to break it out by the types of investments long term short term stocks bonds uh, but you, you might just want on your financials to make it pretty straightforward just investments have very few groupings maybe by institution and then that detailed information you want to possibly get from your institution or track it in, in some other fashion. You may not want to track all that detail uh, in, in the system. You might want to have, so I would recommend thinking about having few accounts rather than a whole bunch of them if you're, if you're going to add your investments or thinking about doing so. So then we're going to say, save that. And I'm going to mark it off as we have done that one. 
So make it green. It didn't turn green. Why didn't it turn green? Oh, I didn't do that's the wrong one. I did this one. So that one turns green. So there we have it. Then we're going to go up to the balance sheet once again. I'm going to update this report. So let's go ahead and update it. And then if we scroll on down, we should then see in investments. Now we have this investments in the other current assets. We have this investments. And I obviously I can go into there and see the detail of it. I won't do so. We've seen it's pretty, you know, same thing we've seen in the past. The key is that we put it on the books as an asset as opposed to where it was as is the default going back to the income statement updating the income statement by default it would have been in the uncategorized areas down here so it would have been in uncategorized because it's money going out so just note the general rule every time money goes out of the checking account the system's going to put it automatically waves going to put it automatically into uncategorized and then we're going to recategorize it sometimes those recategorizations will be other expenses most of the time we'll just recategorize into other expenses however sometimes and we're kind of focusing on the exceptions a lot more because those those are those unusual things that the more difficult transactions sometimes it'll be into some other area such as paying uh for something like an asset like we've seen or the property plant and equipment that we have seen so that's going to be it for now let's get out of here <laughs>